Hi everybody, I'm Vicky. I'm Shona Virtue. I'm Rykard. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm Joss. Hi, I'm Lee. I'm Charlie. I'm Tyrone and these are my top training tips. For people to get through really tough exercises, you have to mentally focus, dig deep and tell yourself that you can do it. Focus on your breath. So making sure that you sync the way that you're breathing with the way that you're moving and you'll get through it so much better, you'll find the energy. If you get to a point where you think, I literally cannot do any more, I'm going to collapse, go for two more reps. Those last couple of reps, the ones that really hurt, those are the ones that are chiseling away at your body, changing its shape, defining it. Don't quit when your mind is saying stop, because your body can definitely do a bit more. One of my gym bag hacks is putting hand sanitizer in there so you can just rub your hands and get out of the gym. Don't leave your clothes in there that's all sweaty in the gym bag overnight because I've done that many a times and then you wake up in the morning and you like undo the zip and then you get the poof, you're like oh my gosh. When you use your protein shaker, don't forget to wash it because they stink if you leave them in there and you don't wash them. Make sure you always carry water with you, stay hydrated throughout your workouts and always carry deodorant to be courteous to everybody else in the gym once you finish. If you're feeling a little bit low and you need a little bit of food just before training, I say like have like a half a banana or something like that. Bananas are a really good go-to. They're full of all the right things that are gonna give you energy in the morning and they're really easy to grab. You can eat them on the go. Bananas are epic. I always opt for a shake because I can throw in some fruit for those nutrients and a bit of carbohydrate and then some protein powder. After workout, you want to get in a fast acting protein. So usually whey protein is my go-to source. Immediately after you train, you have a 30 minute golden window where your body needs to be replenished with protein. Give it protein. Protein will help your muscles repair and recover effectively and nice and quickly. So get a big amount of protein into whatever it is you are gonna stuff your face with. You wanna get the protein shake inside ya. Repair those muscles. Five top things I think people should have in their diet. There's plenty of fish, omega-3, avocados, natural fats, nuts if you can, tomatoes, great for the skin, and mixed berries full of antioxidants. Chicken, sweet potato, broccoli, spinach, and avocado. Oats on a morning, can't live without peanut butter. Steak, chicken, and broccoli. It's hard to say specific foods that you should be getting into your diet because it depends what you like and what you don't like, and you know, you might be vegetarian. You just need to look at the big food groups and make sure that you're getting them all in. Protein, carbs and fats, and don't forget your fibre. And also, stay hydrated with water. Key gym mistakes that people make is going straight into the training without warming up. Warming up is essential, stretching out the body, get the heart rate going, you know, get a little sweat on, very important. You need to learn to stretch after your exercises, that's so important. Gym newbies always make the mistake of not paying enough attention to form. I'd rather you nail the exercise perfectly, but work out a lot slower and maybe lift a lighter weight than to kind of be doing things incorrectly, because you know what's going to happen? You're just going to get an injury and you won't be able to train and then there goes your, your gym routine. Poor form. If you've got a bad technique when you're lifting, it can have an effect on your whole body. A really common mistake that people make is just going way too heavy. Usually guys lifting heavy weights, which they just can't handle. Don't go too heavy, guys. To stop yourself from making gym mistakes, seek good advice from personal trainers. They'll teach you how to do an exercise with correct form. Don't be the guy that slides off the treadmill. If you can't sprint at 12.5, don't do it. <laughs> One reason you should go to the gym is it's good for your health. That's it. At the end of the day, it's about staying healthy and fit over trying to look a certain way. One reason why you should go to the gym, for you. You are worth it.